And it almost seems to be an age old question. What do we do about juvenile crime in Memphis? There's a new debate as to whether judges should have more access to a young defendant's records when setting bail. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock and I'm Greg Hurst. Tonight we're looking into the issue and explaining why some Democrats and Republican state lawmakers agree state law needs to be changed. At a time when there's so much talk about carjackings, robbery, smashing grabs in Memphis, the debate is resurfacing as to what to do about repeat juvenile crime offenders and bail reform. When we talk about bail reform, um, my nightmare is the jail. Uh, we're busting at the scenes at 201. The concept being protecting the community from future crime. Now that process is still in place. There's discussions about changing that. Some of the discussion about bail reform came during a recent public forum sponsored by the Memphis Shelby Crime Commission. As a community, we understand why juvenile records have not been available in the past. It's because we didn't want what somebody did when they were young to be held against them. All their lives. General Sessions Judge Lee Wilson says in some cases change may be needed to allow judges and judicial commissioners to have more access to the records of juvenile defendants. Just say he was 17 year old, 17 and 10 months, and he committed a carjacking. And then on his 18th birthday, which is two months later, commits another carjacking. Well, under our current law, we would not know about the carjacking that he committed two months ago. Several city and county leaders say they support changing state law to grant more accessibility to juvenile records. Representatives Mark White and G.A. Hardaway say they could support the measure with certain restrictions. The judge needs to know whether or not the uh, offender, this is their first time, or if they have multiple arrests. 14, 15, 16 on the record, that would help him in setting bail. And what that would do for the community is if a person uh, has multiple arrests and they don't necessarily need to get bailed and be back out on the street. So we've got to be concerned about the confidentiality of the information that's going to be pulled from the juvenile records and that it's not misused, that it doesn't uh, hinder uh, true justice. And that's about young adults being able to grow beyond their youthful uh, uh, indiscretions. Reporting for your news leader in Memphis, Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3. State lawmakers go on to tell us that juvenile crime and bail reform will be addressed in the upcoming legislative session in early 2025.